get rid of the poll ID here. I can create a hyperlink. And I can give a text for it for results. Because I just want it to be a hard-coded text in this case. I don't want the link text to be some, something from the database. I just want it to be the hard-coded. What's the URL field? Well, I want the poll ID. And data navigate URL format, I want to call results.aspx, <coughs> question mark, ID equals, curly bracket, zero. Is it always zero? Well, it won't always be zero. Remember, zero refers to the position in this list. You can pass more than one item on the query string, in which case it would be 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. But since we're, we, we've only been passing one item, because all our tables typically have single part keys, we're typically going to have one thing. All right. So now I run this. I can go do a search. Huffman, results of that poll, and we're linked to our results page. We have one more thing to do, and eight minutes to do it, and I think I can do it in eight minutes. All right? We need to put some images here. All right? I'll try to be a grown-up about this, and since I don't have any images, <laughs> Actual images. I'm going to go and draw them in paint. <laughs> I'll just do one for me, but you do you do the rest in a similar way. All right, so let's go in, into paint, which I hope is here. So I'm going to go into my polls application, and I'm going to create a folder for images. And I'm going to put my folder in here, or put my image in here. So it is... mz.png. Now, how's it going to know which is my picture? Alright, so how's it going to know to display my picture? 
when it goes to that page? You have to tell it. How am I going to tell it? With words. <laughs> My picture is <laughs> MZ. <laughs> okay. Specifically, where are we going to put these words? Where's the rest of the information about me? In the database. In the database. So we're going to put the image of me in the database. What are we actually going to put in the database, though? Are we actually going to put the image in the database? No. We're going to put the path of the image or the name of the image in the database, depending on how exactly how we want to do it. So let's go in. So we have to add a new column here. Well, let's back up. What do you need? What do you need in HTML? You need a path to an image. So to for the, our server side code to write the HTML to display an image, we need the path to the image, not the image itself. You probably could store an image in the database, but that won't do us any good for this. We want the path to the image. So go to our user table, and I'm going to go and go into design view, and I'm going to create a field called user image, which is, again, you have an OLA object, but we don't want that. We want short text, because we're simply going to display the path to it. So, I could either put the full path or I could put the username. Um, I guess it depends on, you know, six of one, half dozen of the other. I am going to put simply the image name in this. And for me, my user image is what? mz.png. Okay? So, close out of there. Let's go back into our application. And I'm going to go and I'm going to change the data source, right? Because I haven't selected the user image yet. So I'm going to select the user image. I'm going to refresh that. And now, what's it going to do if I run this now? What's it going to show here? It's just going to show the the, the, the file path of the image. Right? It's going to show the name of the image, rather. So we're not quite there yet. So I'll go here and I'll search for Zellers. And it sure enough shows MZPNG. All right? We want to actually make that into an image, though. All right? So we need to put that in an image tag. The way we can do that is we can go into here, and I really don't need to change the data source, right? Because I got what I need to make the image. I got the image name. So I'll go in here and change the details view, edit field, and I'm going to delete that user image field, and I'm going to create a, just like I deleted the name and created a hyperlink field, I'm going to delete the image name and create an image field. And now what I do is I almost exactly like I do with links. I have, but instead of a link having a, a link has a text and it has a navigate URL. This has the image URL and the alternate text field. So the alternate text field, I'm going to be last name, Picture of zero. All right, so the alternate text will be picture of Zellers. The data images field is going to come from the user image field. And now, here's what I'm going to put in the, the, the folder that it's in. All right, because right now it's in the images folder, and therefore I'm going to format the image name by tacking images slash in front of it. Now when I run this, and there I am. Hey, 
Gill. That doesn't look like him. I think it looks like me some mornings. <laughs> looks like a Picasso. Yeah. <laughs> you can sell that. So let's take inventory of the stuff that we talked about today. All right, we used the like to do an approximate selection. We talked more about passing data from one page to another, about the data we need to pass. We talked more about creating links from one page to another. All right. How we can make the text of the link be a field from the database, and we can pass a different value on the query string. We talked a little bit more about aggregate functions. We talked about creating images. And um, I suppose that's about it, other than reviewing some of the other stuff that we've done several times before. Could you go back to the uh, image view? Sorry, could you go back to the image yeah. And I, I do want to show you something before I do that, because if you look here, again, there's the URL and there's the alt text picture of Zellers. I did want to demonstrate that. If we go back to the image view, and I will upload this example. If we go here and edit fields. We supply the value that we want the alternate text, or let me rephrase that. We supply a database field that we want to have included in the alternate text. So you have a picture of curly brace zero. Which is going to get filled from last name. Okay. And then... If you had a different picture, like say of uh, Huffman, would it, be, would, it still hit, would it still be picture of zero? Because right, because it will be his value for last name. Okay. Right. I then have the image URL field, which is the actual path of the source of the image, which we're pulling from the database field user image, but we tap the images folder in front of it because I know all these images live in the image folder. This is what I was getting back before. I could have done it either way. I could have put in the full path in the database and simply use it here, or I could put uh, just the name in the database and uh, change it uh, and tap on the path um, here. It sort of makes more sense of me to put just a name in the database because then if I have a bunch of subfolders and all that, I can configure the path in a way that's going to work on that particular page. This one, for example, as soon as it's a page is in a folder above the images folder. Could be in some other folder, right? Or if we move things around or whatever. This, this allows for a little more flexibility. Questions about this? Excellent. I will post this up to Angel, and then we'll see you over in lab. So image is not available like that. Where do put that in? Pardon me? If image is not available. Oh, by default, what it will do, and we can actually do that on here. If we edit fields. There's a null image URL that I could put like, you know, a, just a smiley face and say image not available. All right. Otherwise, what will happen is it will simply show no image. So like if I pick one of the other people who doesn't have an image stored, um, it will just show a blank for the image. See, there's no image there. And if I wanted there to be, uh, I could put an alternate image there that would show up if they didn't have an image. And I probably, I think there's, there's a null image text as well I could put in there. I don't recall that. All right. See you over in lab.